yes I am still working on the Kubota it's the chassis is almost ready for paint I probably got about hour hour and a half worth of work on it before it's ready to get painted the chassis part but today we got to put this together because I need to get it's October the 2nd and I need to get I'm already late I need to get stuff down for crabgrass and stickers so I bought the North Star 31 gallon tank towable uh, chemical sprayer here's all the parts I've unpacked it and I will say this is probably the best packaged thing I've ever bought in my life there was probably there was miles of bubble wrap and tape the only issue I had is the first one I picked up the tank was crushed the box was crazy. You could tell something like they set a small block Chevy on it or something, but just exchanged it. Got a new tank, so. Okay, I've already looked through the instructions, and I haven't done this yet, but according to the instructions, these are the tools you're going to need. Manual, obviously. Half-inch wrench. Yes, not metric. It says half-inch. And I went ahead and grabbed a socket, a couple of extensions, and another half-inch socket. Or a driver that I know I probably won't use it, but a torque wrench, one pair of pliers, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and if you're over 40, a pair of readers. All right, let's get to it. Okay, step one is to put the axle in right here, but I'm gonna skip that, because it'll be in my way. I'm not gonna put that in until I have to. But, take this, hitch, set it down, and there's a hole right here. That's your key. So, take these, there's three of these long bolts. You know that RTFM thing, so if you look on here, assembly instructions for 282780, which I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a 50 gallon or something, I don't know. But the model number I have is 28275, 785, which is a 31 gallon. So it shows me putting in one here and here and not putting one in this center hole. And so here's the difference. The reason we didn't install that other bolt was because for this one, they must use the same, this frame is probably the same frame for a lot of different models. And this probably, that's why there's different holes now. So I see what you could do is you could install this back. But so on this one, the one I'm doing, the 31 gallon, this model number 28275, y'all seeing this? Yeah. All right. We're going to add two more supports and then bolt it together. So that's why So I just Did I see the wrong ones? No. So on here you show they got they're punched out. These are slotted. So Probably a design change. I'm just gonna leave that loose. And this, obviously, these are. This is a plastic tank that's sat in a container from wherever. Probably not Minnesota. And what I'm getting at is it's, it's not deformed, but it's definitely not flat. So I would get uh, just a couple of threads each one of these before you start getting all He-Man on it. Factory installed in their tight, I would loosen them up. 
so you can really get this where you want it. And you're not putting anything in a bind. doesn't look as big as this gap and that makes me think this thing's kind of sitting like this. So this is fixed. So this is the pivot. This will not go this way because of these two. These two are key in this thing straight in the middle. So all the adjustment is in the front. So this gap here isn't matching but that's not saying that it's perfectly level here. I don't know if y'all can see my fingers, but right in the front of this tank there's two holes. Now I stand right above this thing. And this looks to be perfectly centered above these two holes. And these are tight. I'm just let me tighten them. And this little gap right here, and this little gap right here is pretty much dead nuts even. So I'm going to call this good. I'm curious how tight this is. Not very. Obviously this which is the pickup for inside the tank and you can look and see what was stuck on this tube. Why this wasn't in the bag with everything else I don't know but my guess is these are thick. These are probably the two washers we're looking for. I don't even know what y'all can see. You know that ain't gonna cut it. I mean, come on, dudes. Assuming this should probably go all the way to the bottom. Next we install this. Same 60 inch pounds, 5 foot pounds.
then we install this other one in the bottom now we're going to assemble the pump okay so we'll put this one in first and so this comes out I'm gonna, it's a plug. Oh. I do see some grease in there. And so this is push fitting, so you just push this in. diagram on the in the manual shows it wants this pointing to the back then when you get it where you want it you just there it's locked into place mm, there we go. And you can still turn it once it's locked in it's oh it's o-ring seal so all right so now if you look we've got the pump assembled it will sit on the tank like this so let's see I'm assuming the next step is maybe put the pump on or so the pumps gonna sit like this four screws one of these screws is longer and that's so you can attach you run this tether through it which is the tether to the cap and then this fitting goes in here this is the return I guess is what you would call it. But. And I already see an issue, but this can be rotated. So, let me see which one of these is the long one. This one right here. Let me do that first. So these are just Phillips head screwdrivers, screws, I mean. So I'm going to take this tether. And I just put it in kind of loose. that that's lining up absolutely perfectly I'm not having to put any Okay, now we're going to be installing the booms. So there's two booms. One of them has this T fitting on it, and it goes on the, if you're looking at it from the rear, like we are, it goes on the left side. So. Put your hose clamp on there. Okay. 
assumption is this goes here. this. Let's see, I want that one. I think I'll put them both on the outside. If you kind of think about which way you want it, the hose clamps to be when you tighten them, you know, do you want it like this or do you want it like this? I'll save you some aggravation. I'm going to have to do some wire cleanup maybe. Oh, I'm going to want this like this, or where do I want the wires? Let me. Ah, I'm gonna have to zip zip towel this together. You see that? Yeah. All right, so this just slides on here. This just slides on there, and you're gonna obviously put the clamps on and tighten it up. In case you're wondering, which I know nobody is, maybe one of y'all is, I did take this sticker off and put it back on. It was on Crooked too. So, okay, the one tool that I, they didn't talk about, they want to use flathead screwdriver, which I ain't got no time for that. Is you would need a six millimeter socket, and that's what size these hose clamps are. This loose. This one, I just want to make sure it doesn't leak because this is the suction side of the pump. There we go. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going around. I'm going to go through all this. Um, look. I'll probably cut the zip tie and re zip tie it because there's a clamp right there. I can't get to it. Um, so I tighten this one, there's two here, all those, and then I'm going to go tighten these. Okay, the next step was to put the hose on the end of that spray wand right there, and then connect it to the pump, which I've done, but now, yeah, I just don't know if that's big enough. If I had a nut and a bolt, which I do, advice put the bracket on the hose before you put the hose on the pump because it was kind of it came all mangled anyway but even if it wouldn't have you'd I would have to bend this bracket to get it on here and you can see what a joy that was so
See, this is all crabgrass right next to the driveway. It's all crabgrass. All that stuff is crabgrass. Yeah, I pumped it all out, so I'm just filling it up with water again. I'll slosh it around and run it out. Get the lines, um, whatever, cleaned out. So the, the camera, the battery died on my phone, so all I had left to do was I put the uh, pitch on, and I have it just, they want it level. I have it just sitting up here just so it runs to the back. That's where the pickup is. I uh, greased the... Uh, bushing the whatever the wheel hubs both of them have grease fittings and they're both finger tight so tighten them up and did some wire clean up there the zip ties and that's it the other thing is this so uh, i'm using this this little lawn and garden battery on this this ryan lawnmower so far it's working great now what i did is i started if you noticed i started running the rpms full blast even if i'm not going that fast just to a little magneto charger to try to help keep the battery up but I'm not sure what the uh, impact on the battery will be but we'll find out I right, got half a tank of water I'm gonna go slosh this around and hose this thing out see ya